Good Saturday morning, neighbors, friends, comrades. This one's on uh, climate change and exactly what we know about it. Maybe. I could be wrong because that's how it goes. When we look back over human history and beyond human history, the single most impactful thing to humanity that we know of is climate change. And we induce this ourselves. If you look at the sprawl of suburbia across around cities, that changes a climate. It changes an ecosystem. And this is what we're making, is suburbia for America. Not suburbia for the world. This suburbia thing is everywhere. It's amazing. It, it's totally incredible. But if you go look at natural history and human history, you can see across time that the climate has changed and affect huge population areas. It's caused wars. It's caused migrations. It's caused deaths of civilizations. The Mayan civilization is probably one of the best examples we have because they preceded all of these things on the short earth conversation list. And their civilization declined because the climate, the environment, could no longer support the masses of peoples across South America. Huge cities. Not cities as we think of them. The skyscrapers were temples. The skyscrapers were on top of mountains. But this history goes back. We can show and prove the effects of climate change, local climate change, regional, and even global, going back to the Ice Age. Our science, our knowledge, our common understanding shows that this has happened since before the dinosaurs. Remember the dinosaurs extinction <clears throat> was all a natural event. It was still a catastrophe. So this is how climate change works. It is a cyclical thing we have found in the history, in the millions of years of history of mankind. We have found the impacts of this and we have found communities and cultures and civilizations that have adapted to these new lifestyles and the changes in them. The North America's indigenous peoples never found writing. They never found metallurgy, but the South American peoples did. So different lives, different times, different ages before we as we are or around that doesn't negate the fact we're born. Once you're born, you have rights, period. Right, you're human. You deserve a chance to live. So this is the fact of climate change, global climate change over millennia. We have documented this. We know it happens. We have found the cycles that it occurs under having to do with space, right? Solar cycles. And we are in, this is, we're playing cycle, we're riding cycles. So, yeah, climate change happens with or without us. The second element of this, because we know how to do this, is we have measured the rate of change. This is what we're talking about in climate change, is a change in a rate of change that's abnormal. And we can attribute that to our own emissions, our own minds, our own pollution. We learned how this works long ago with the chlorofluorocarbons destroying the ozone layer. That was a real conversation. That was, and that was decades ago. Most people forget about that. They don't realize that we learned. So, yeah, climate change is real the rate of the change very apparently is being caused by human activities on the planet because the rate is nothing that we have seen in the history before us.
But it has happened with catastrophic events, sudden changes, but this is more subtle. This is human-driven, subtle. You have to have a memory. You have to have good history. And this is what uh, faith can destroy, is good history. So... There's six minutes on climate change. The fact is, we have shown we are impacting this. The fact is, we are terraforming our own planet. We are aware of it. There are people looking out for their own interests in this. And it's just thoughts and prayers that uh, our interests are legitimately ours. <laughs> Someone asked if I got any positive stuff to say. Boy, have you got the wrong channel, folks. This is just coffee in the morning. If you don't think this is positive, well, I'm positive. Thank you all. Appreciate the time.